have known, understand, perceive. Mind is the intellect. It's in thought. It's feeling or will. Who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? I was curious to study that word instruct. Do you know what it means? Drive together. To instruct God means you're doing it with God now. Because you're in the image of God. That is united. To unite with God. In association or affection. To knit together. Wow. So you see, God's got his way of thinking. So he says, who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? It means God needs you to unite with him. To bring it to pass in the way you think, in the way you believe, in the way you feel. And you and God are in the majority in the name of Jesus. Doesn't matter how many are against you. If God's on your side, you're in the majority in the name of Jesus. Here where Paul said in verse 9, your eyes has not seen your ears has not heard, neither has it entered into your heart, the things that God has prepared. I checked that out where he got that from. He actually got it from Isaiah 64 verse 4. Because he was a scholar of the word. Scholar of the word. And Isaiah 64 verse 4, and we're going to close. Isaiah says, for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither had the eye seen, O God, besides thee, what he had prepared for them that waiteth for him. Very interesting. Paul said, love him. Isaiah said, waiteth for him. And I looked at that word, wait. It means the same as instruct him. It means piercing, joining, and uniting with him. If you can get pierced by the word, Jesus was pierced on the cross. For you to get pierced in your spirit by the word, if you can join in with the way God thinks, <laughs> you are instructing him because that is his will for you. That's what he wants. That's his purpose. That's his desire. And he cannot bring his desire to pass. He cannot bring his plans to pass for you. He cannot bring what he's prepared for you to pass unless he can pierce you. And it's a covenant term. He'll pierce you. He'll penetrate you. And your life can be united with him. And you can have the mind of Christ. Who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. What does it mean to have the mind of Christ? You have an ability to think like God. I have an ability to think like God. And if I can get God's thoughts, I got his ways. I got his plan. Have you received something? It means piercing, joining, and uniting with him. If you can get pierced by the word, Jesus was pierced on the cross for you to get pierced in your spirit by the word. If you can join in with the way God thinks, <laughs> you are instructing him because that is his will for you. That's what he wants. That's his purpose. That's his desire. And he cannot bring his desire to pass. He cannot bring his plans to pass for you. He cannot bring what he's prepared for you to pass unless he can pierce you. And it's a covenant term. He'll pierce you. He'll penetrate you. And your life can be united with him. And you can have the mind of Christ. Who has known the mind of the Lord. That he may instruct him. But we 
have the mind of Christ. What does it mean to have the mind of Christ? You have an ability to think like God. I have an ability to think like God. And if I can get God's thoughts, I got his ways. I got his plan. Mm -hmm.